here is my uh, inventing room key replica from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory 1971 version. From a distance, this has got to be one of the coolest props that you could have from that movie. Um, however, when you get up close and have it in your hand, it is the worst piece I have ever owned that was made by somebody else. Obviously this guy uh, did a rush job putting this thing together and he wanted to make a quick dollar. It was it's it's terribly made. You can see the um, edges. They're they're terrible. The uh, handle is not seated and secured. Uh, there's gaps with glue oozing out, already dried and lumpy. Uh, obviously, the paint was wet when the guy was turning the gears, and it stuck, pulled the paint away. The uh, finishing or lack thereof on the key ends. Completely rough, no sanding, uh, nothing. It's poorly mounted. Look, two globs of glue. It's just, it's the worst. I'm gonna have to rip this thing apart into individual pieces and totally redo it. Um, it'll be a little while before I get to it, but in the end, when all is said and done, it's gonna look a thousand times better. I, I will be. Um, Adding some filler, body filler, bondo, uh, sanding it down, smoothing out the edges, um, securing everything down properly, reassembling it after it's been painted individually, and then I will be finishing it off with uh, gold leaf paper and then sealing it. Uh, so it'll it'll look a thousand times better in the end. Just uh, really upset that this guy had an awesome concept, but just poor workmanship. Totally poor. Here's the uh, second prop that I've added to my Wonka collection. It's the uh, giant golden goose egg. Um, again, from a distance, this thing looks really nice. The gold looks nice and shiny. Um, it's a it's a good sized prop. It's a very big egg. However, it came from a clamshell mold so when it was taken out you can see the edges where the two ends of the mold met but the guy failed to sand it down also after he painted it it was it's apparent that the paint was still wet and he touched it with or without gloves however the fingerprints are indented in the paint not to mention there are scratches galore all over it see here the you can see the edges so I will have to take this and redo it completely it more scratches um, also it's a thin layer of paint uh, the guy did on both the pieces and um, just a rush job uh, guy probably just wanted to make some quick cash threw these things together and slapped them on eBay um, I'll be redoing this one as well. Uh, I'll have to go in with some, some sandpaper, sand on the edges, or use a Dremel. Uh, maybe add uh, a thin layer of body filler, maybe even Bondo, and sand it all down to a smooth surface. It's going to get repainted again in gold. Also uh, done up in gold leaf paper for final surface and then sealed with a, a clear. Um, but uh, it'll be a while, however, I will do another video or add some photos of the finished items.